What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. For today's video, this is going to be the part two um, of the video of me working on the 4G63. For those who are new to this channel, um, I have a 2G outside of my house that I'm working on. And um, this is a motor to it. So um, I actually got a little bit of head of myself, so I want to apologize for that. But um, let me get this off of this. Um, last time that you guys, the last video that I that I was out, we only got to do the oil pan, and I stopped it right there, where I actually have the head on now as well. So um, the head is on. So what we have next is um, throwing the the lifters. Throwing the lifters, throwing the cams, and all that good stuff, cam caps, and then um, once we have all the cams and stuff on there, we can go ahead and uh, do the rest of the stuff here, um, the timing belt tensioners and um, all that good stuff, and we can go ahead and time the mortar. Once we do that, we can go ahead and do all the other little accessory stuff that we're missing over here. We can do the intake manifold, um, and um, yeah, guys, but um. She's looking, she's looking really good. She's looking really good right now. I have the, the one G here in the garage. I am not gonna be driving this um, anytime soon just cause it's really hot outside. Um, the summer is finally here and this car does not have AC. I rarely, you know, just, I'm just gonna baby it. I did buy another daily, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, for those who follow me on Instagram, you guys already know what I got. And I am also going to be throwing the Evo in here just because, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't really want to feel like driving them during the summer, but um, enough talking guys. Alrighty guys, so what I'm going to be doing right now, I go, uh, went ahead and threw the, the lifters um, in there. I'm going to go ahead and bleed the lifters um, one by one right now, I, just like I did on the Evo, I don't know if you guys remember. So pretty much... Um, the lifters are are fully charged with oil and um as you can see when they're fully charged they're really hard even to push down so when you throw these on your head and you torque everything down you know that they stay really hard so some valves uh, stay open and sometimes you know i've done it sometimes and sometimes i've done it and nothing's ever happened but we're gonna do it um, but what you do you um literally just stick something really skinny in the little hole and you just you just start pushing it, and then it will it will um, it will release everything that's in there. So it'll bring out all the nasty crap that's in there, and all the oil that's in there. So uh, once you release everything, and it, it gets all soft again, you're good. So that's what you do. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. Uh, do one by one and then um, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, so I have all those uh, lifters nice and bled out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lube them up and pop them in there. So let me go ahead and do that real quick and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So we have all the lifters in there, all nicely looped up. The next process is the the rocker arms. I already uh, went ahead and cleaned them up as well. So we're gonna go ahead and slap those on now. So just loop it up just a little bit. So there you go, you have all your rocker on in. What's next now is the, the cams. Alrighty guys, so I wanna say it has been a week since I've worked on the mortar. Um, last time you guys remember, I uh, I stopped 
um, when I was in a, let's see, I was gonna bolt down the cams. I was just, uh, I was cleaning out the cam caps and stuff. So that's where I stopped last time, but the lifters and the rockers are in. So I just gotta bolt down the cams, do uh, the cam um, seals. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna finish uh, up assembling the head and then um, hopefully we'll get to some of the timing um, stuff and then do the intake manifold. But first I gotta pull out the Evo. I did pull the Evo in here and the DSM. I have not been driving them. I will show you guys the daily that I am using now because it's, it is just too hot to be, you know, it's driving. <laughs> so that there it is. There's a new daily Dodge Neon. 2001 Dodge Neon, cold as AC. Has like over 200,000 miles, but it runs really good and it takes me to work, so that's all that matters. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the Evo, and then we'll get um, we'll get cracking on this on this motor again. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started installing the cam caps. These are pretty simple to install. See if it focuses, as you guys can see, it has a, like a little I and then a little four. So these are all numbered uh, by numbers. So it has like a I, I1, I2, I3, I4, I3. So that means uh, it's an exhaust um, uh, intake, sorry, intake um, cam cap. So you'll start from the first one, which is I1. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and loop her up some more. So just throw a bunch of uh, lube on these cams. Alrighty. So I have that put back, and now I can go ahead. Got some lube on there. We'll go ahead and start putting these. Alrighty guys, so before I, I just have them like semi tightened down right now because I'm going to take off uh, the cam gear so I can replace the the cam seal. Uh, the cam seals. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and while I'm at it. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray these uh, cam gears because they're a little dirty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clean them up and I'll probably spray them black. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then uh, I have the other one semi tightened down. I'm gonna go ahead and boop, pop out this old seal, this trash, and I'll pop in the new ones. So yep. Let me let me um, let me handle these real quick and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, so I have all the cam caps torqued down. I torqued these down to 15 foot pounds um, and the new seals are in as well. So all this is done. Um, I have the uh, cam gears down here. Have them cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and spray them black real quick and then I'm gonna throw those on and then hopefully um, I'll get to the intake manifold next. Um, the intake manifold is right here. It's uh, it's already cleaned and it's already, looks like it's been power coated uh, wrinkle black so that looks pretty good uh, makes my my job a lot easier so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it up get all the dust off of it and then we'll slap that on so uh yeah guys she's she's coming together she's coming together but um yeah let me let me spray these uh, cam caps I mean cam caps uh, these uh these cam gears and then while those sit and dry we'll go ahead and install the intake manifold so I went ahead and sprayed those uh, cam gears. They look a lot better than what they were. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the back. I'm not gonna record um, everything just because I'm already making this video so long. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some RTV, um, a little bit of RTV around the, the back of this intake manifold. Just rub a little bit and then we'll throw on the gasket and then we'll bolt down the intake manifold. Also for this, if you guys are wondering what kind of RTV I always use, um, I always use, I buy this at um, AutoZone. It's the ultra gray one. This is the one that I always use and 
it works really well so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm not gonna record it and um i'll get you guys once it's bolted down Alrighty, guys so i'm gonna go ahead and install the the cam gears you guys can see the intake manifold is on now um it looks really good i'll show you guys in a little bit but i'm gonna go ahead and install these cam gears real quick i'm gonna put just a little bit uh of loctite on the cam gear bolts so everything stays nice and tight Alrighty guys, so what's next now is I have those cam gears nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and do the timing belt. Um, I do have my uh, little hydraulic uh, tensioner on with the grenade pin. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and I will catch you guys as soon as I get that done. Alrighty guys, check it out. Timing belt is done. She is nice and tight. All your timing marks are... Um, you don't know. You don't know. Um, have to wear, put this one back since you don't no longer have the balance shafts but I just do it anyway just it's just a little habit but yeah it's here's your mark right there right there and then your two cam gears up here so um there she is time belt is done and um I'm gonna go ahead and I'll uh, just uh throw on the valve cover because I want nothing to get on it um in here and um and yeah guys let me just do the valve cover real quick and Alrighty guys, well check her out. Got the valve cover on. She looking mighty sexy. So I just went ahead and put this over it real quick. This is gonna be his little spark plug cover that he he uh, he ordered. It says got boost. Looks pretty cool. Goes with the theme, black and red. Um, the engine bay is also black, so she looked pretty cool. She looked pretty nice. Intake manifold is on, so uh. Just gotta clean up these part plug cables a little bit, but yeah, guys, um, she's looking real good. She's looking real nice, and um, I'm happy with the outcome. She's she's coming along. She's coming along pretty good, and uh, she's almost done. All we need left, uh, to be honest, is throw on the exhaust manifold for the turbo, throw on some of the pulleys that go right here for the water pump, throw on uh, the timing covers, oil filter housing, and then um, then we'll go ahead and do um, the clutch transmission. The, the water filter housing and um the water pipe and um that's it guys it, she's looking she's looking mighty fine so check her out i'm digging it so uh yeah guys what do you guys think Alrighty, guys so that is gonna be the end for this video i'm sorry if it was a uh, a pretty long video um, I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, the motors coming along really good um I just been taking and I want to apologize that I haven't been uh, uploading in uploading uh, frequent we've been on vacation we took our kids uh, down to California and we went on vacation but um yeah so it's, it's just been a little you know some family time and then um, it's kind of hard with my job and everything and then to get to the car but um it's it's coming along i got a lot done today and um i hope you guys enjoyed it. if you guys did please hit that subscribe button please hit that like button if you guys do not follow me on instagram please go follow me at 4g63 attic and um she's coming along good and next time hopefully we'll have her in so uh have a good one guys i'll catch you guys in the next one